Welcome everyone for the CODI training today. Uh, my name is Helen He. I'm of the Nurse User Training. Usan, Usan Yan also is my colleague uh, of the same group. So let's introduce the CODI tool first. This tool is developed by Appentra Solutions. And this is a great tool for programming development for C, C++, Fortran, parallel codes. It works on CPUs and GPUs and helps you to use OpenMP and OpenACC. It has the ability to automatically insert OpenMP and OpenACC directives in your codes. You can also automatically rewrite Fortran code to enforce Fortran modernization best practices. There's a, a big catalog, open catalog of best practices for modernization and optimization in the link below. It helps you to identify opportunities uh, for improvement in your code and also provide detailed guidance on how to effectively explore it of these opportunities. Uh, we have the hands-on training today. The, the Cody side, developers and speakers, Manuel and Aranas, He's the founder and CEO of the company, Alvarado, and Ulysses here. They're uh, actually based in Spain. So thank you so much for um, helping us with the training, uh, apply this training today uh, in your evening time. There's a, we are going to go over a rich collection of demos and step-by-step -step guides for demo and hands-on. Um, so uh, be prepared. You can also bring your own um, application codes. By, for, for using Cody today and tomorrow. Nurse side, myself, Usan, Rebecca, and Madeline, um, organizers um, at OF side, OLCF side, um, Suzanne is the uh, main organizer. Uh, this is brief schedule day one and day two. I won't talk details of what are they, uh, what these are. You're gonna see the in the welcome slide of the Cody's team. I would what I want to say is that from 9 to 12:30 is day both days, and we will have a short break in between. There'll be lectures, demos, and hands-on. Um, this is day two. Day two, we also have a special um, guest speaker um, optimizing of an application case using Cody for uh, optimizing the weather research and forecasting model, WOLF. Some quick logistics. We muted you, um, but please change your name to first name and last name, and you can use change it by clicking on participants and then more next to your name to rename so, so we know who you are. We have enabled captions and view full transcripts. Um, you can toggle on and off captions and you can view full transcripts if, and you can even save the, them if you like. We prefer to use a Google Doc for question and answer instead of Zoom chat because it's more uh, permanent and also can be threaded for Q&A please do use q and doc. I've posted that link in the Zoom chat already. I'll repost for someone, um, whoever joins late. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll be processing the videos. This is recorded, as you can see. Uh, videos will be available a few days after and slides, um, we'll post slides shortly on the event page as well. We are giving, um, provide a survey and we'll pro pro post the link uh, tomorrow. Also, um, everyone has been added to Entrance 6 if you are a, a NERSC user. If not, uh, we have, you should have received instructions on how to apply for a training account. The training accounts valid through September 13th. We also have made some reservations for today and tomorrow from 9, 9 a.m. to 1.30, one hour past the event uh, training event. And the name is Cody underscore day one and Cody underscore day two. So we have some flags here. Uh, you have to use dash A and trend six to access the reservation, dash capital C GPU to access GPU node. And we would like you to use the shared uh, Q, dash Q shared, asking for 32 CPU cores and one GPU uh, so that um, four users can share one node, node. There are four GPUs and 128 CPU cores per each uh, GPU node. And outside the reservation hours, uh, there's no reservation. You could use your own project, or if not, you can use Entrance 6. And if you want to use a regular exclusive GPU node for your bigger applications, and just use dash Q regular. For hands-on materials, um, SSH, permodel.nurse.gov, CD to scratch, and then git clone the whole um, demo codes uh, repository. 
how to use Kodi, um, the default version, um, but for today's tra training, let's use a, a newer version. So, so module load Kodi with the ex explicit version name 2024.3.1 and lots of Kodi options and you will see them in the step-by-step -step guide. Um, the option, what these options are, and also there's a Kodi dash dash help to see some more um, guidance. There are docs and examples in the dollar score Kodi under DIR if you after you load the module. To use Kodi, you can use logging node for most of the development work. After the Kodi, you know, help you to edit uh, OpenMP or OpenACC when you run on GPU, then you can use different compiler. Um, for your own application. Then you can um, get onto a GPU node to, your, to run your application. But for the Kodi development work to help you to you know, check your codes to provide you optimization guidance, you can do them on, on a logging node. I think, lastly, NERSC, NERSC Code of Conduct. Uh, we work together professionally and productively. And if you have, you or if you've seen anything, you know, if you're uncomfortable, you want to report violations, you can email nurse underscore training at lbl.gov. Um, so as I said earlier, uh, everyone is muted. You're free, uh, feel free to unmute to ask questions. And if you, you feel like you do not want to be recorded, your voice or your face, um, you can turn off video, you can, you know, ask questions in the Google Doc. So. With that, this is my welcome, and I am going to hand it over to Cody team for the training. <laughs>